السلام عليكم guys in this video we will learn how to write a subquery inside select statement or select method in Laravel let's start as you can see here most of us may know that is a select method by default selects all from the table right for so here for example if I run this query here in my endpoint as you can see it returns all columns from users table but what if I want to write a sub query or native query inside it we can do it easily using array right as a parameter and first of all we will select all as a string or any columns we want and we can see here as a key for example post this count for each user and we can say here our query for example post or post model and we will select count here or even select row and we can say count all and where columns the users.id equal to posts dot user id here is my posts table contains only one post for user id number three let's back and check again and I have an error our method is where column back and send again as you can see here user ID number one has no posts ID number two has no posts ID number three users ID number three has one post right let's try to use count directly here instead of select and let's take it here this method and if I try it again it didn't work so we must use select statement and also we must select only one value so imagine here for example we select ID and title of post and when we send a request so here we must select only one column so what if we convert it to array it will be more clear like that ID and title as you can see here operand should contain one column right so if I remove it selecting the title only it will work right we must also use select where column users.id equal to posts dot user id again and when we run it it returns null but for id number three it returns the title also an important point here if we have more than one post for the same user if i run it again i received another error subquery returns more than one row so we must limit our result using limit one and we must select only one row and it works again right let's take another example and i will say select row and i will say here count the difference between likes and dislikes here's my likes and dislikes total here is 20 and here is 2 so the difference must be 18 back and check it so i will say some likes minus some dislikes back and check again and as you can see minus 18 because likes is less than dislikes this method also works for add select method so imagine here we started a query right and we will say user select and select all and again here we can say query add select and we can remove it let's try again and as you can see here the same result here is a quick tip of how to write a subquery inside select method in laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in the next video